when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me good with y'all all right so today we're gonna be deep diving into this thing and seeing was this a good buy and what my game plan is for this thing because i've been going in a few different directions but today we figure out a game plan for this thing for show sure, for show sure. all right so over the last few days i've literally been deep diving down the rabbit hole and just trying to soak up as much information as i can on this thing you guys know that this is going to be my very first old school build uh and what i do with any build before i get started i literally deep dive and just like scour the internet i'm looking through hashtags i'm looking at other people's videos i'm looking and seeing what people are doing i'm researching motors like for me it is a whole process like i have super super ocd when it when it comes to this stuff and it's like i want to learn about it i want to figure out how things are working even though now i don't do a lot of the work i still find interest in you know searching and um literally figuring out how things work because when it comes to any of my cars i know you guys see them go to the shop but when my cars go to the shop they're pretty much doing the man hours when it comes to uh part selection and stuff that i'm doing like on the lsa 350z it's like everything from aesthetics to how i want the motor set up i do when it came to the swings thing aesthetics the motor combination is like i usually pick out everything for the only car that i didn't really pick out motor combination will kind of be the C6s, and that's because Sax Speed Shop had a recipe. It ain't as simple as like, all right, car goes to the shop, it gets done however they want to do it. It's like, nah, I have to be meticulous on how I want my cars, and how do I know, if, how do I even know how I want them if I'm not doing the research to figure out what works, what doesn't work, what I think is cool, what I don't think is cool. And for this car, I really want this thing to be something sick, man. And I'm sorry if I'm about to be talking a bunch uh, for the first part of this, because we got some explaining to do. And like I said, I've been, last few days I've just been like, going to sleep at like three in the morning videos are playing online from from youtube just literally scouring man so uh today i think i'm gonna get under this thing see what it has see what it, what's going on uh you guys seen when i went and picked it up i didn't even really deep dive into it uh i wasn't really happy about the price point of it but it was like all right it was priced high it had cool features but it didn't run so for me it was like i know for sure i was the only person that was willing to pay the asking price on this thing even though it was like a, a work in progress it was it was definitely a project but i just know the potential that it has and i really like the uh i really like the six four six five six six uh coupes a lot of people were saying well you didn't get a fastback you know any anybody that has fours or classic cars you know you do not chop up a fastback and this thing already has a wide body and stuff. I had it. It's like, it's like you know, it's like some Ken Block Inspire shit, man. I want it like to be some Ken Block shit. This is my first car that's smog exempt, so I don't have to worry about smog on there. So I can go as crazy as I want with this car and not have to worry about it. Smog, 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 smog. But with that being said, man, let's go over here and let's check this thing out, man. So there's been. It's definitely been some fuckery with this thing, man. My problem is I was so amped and sold on the wheel combination that it already had. It's like, bro, like we got work VSXs on here. It had the metal wide body. It already had the GT350 front end. Um, you know, for me, that was the selling point. And on top of that, it had the electric windows that I thought was super cool because you don't have to reach over and be trying to manually do them. So for me, I was like, yo, I'm like, the foundation is there. You know, I'm not, building or buying really on the budget so for me i was like you know i'll make the money back in content i'm like i really want the car it's gonna be sick i mean look at it like let's keep it 100 the car looks good when i seen it i was like bruh this car screams mike mike all over you can't say it doesn't like wide body wide body wide body c6 wide body like every single one of my cars has a wide body kit so when i seen this i was just like like i need this this is the one but you know further investigating let's take a look and i'm gonna get under here i want to check out some stuff and i'm gonna i'm gonna give y'all a full game plan 
later but let's deep dive and i'm gonna show you a few of the things that you know that i found since you know the the impulseness has went down and i actually had a chance to look over this thing with like my you know all right these are my expectations and after looking over it i'm like i'm gonna make this motherfucker sick so it is what it is anywho let me show you all a few of the things man broomstick and I'm shin, the, the hood popper cool part about this car is it already has a 302 swap in it if you guys know the 64 65 66 things the shock towers come way over here so it's usually a super tight fit but on this one they did the fox body k member setup uh, it's like some custom shit so you can see like the shock towers actually sit lower than the the frame of the car so it has full fox body stuff looks like they notched it in pretty good but today will be the first day i'm getting under here and looking at it to see exactly how this k member's in here i thought that was really cool this is one of the things where i was like it could be one of those things where it's a hit or miss it could be yo this is sick uh you get full revised suspension it already has the front coilovers up front it moves the rack opinion to the front of the cross member so the handle and everything's better like you actually have you know legit power steering setup so that aspect of it is cool if you can get this thing to handle and feel kind of like a fox far as front suspension goes with the coilover combo that would be a win-win um, looking at it it doesn't look like the shock towers are off or anything uh, so i'm pretty sure this was done right at first i was super worried about the suspension geometry possibly being off but i don't think that's gonna be the case here but i'll know more once i get under here let's hook this battery up show you guys a few things that i definitely hate about this thing you guys can see that they did do the shaved door handles but guess what the mother door popper doesn't pop this thing open at all so that's one of the things that definitely suck uh, I've been talking to Jay once this thing goes to the body shop we're gonna be swapping these doors back to factory doors because I can't have that imagine going out to a movie or something you got your windows rolled up you with your girl or you with your new little tenderoni or something whatever whatever it is you're gonna be doing you know you get out your movie you walking up to the car and you got to click your popper and the door don't pop it open and now y'all stuck waiting for AAA or something to try to get in here or however you got to do it like we don't want that uh, I understand it would have been kind of cool to, to to have it working functionally but like you can see like the the patch job on the handles looks like caca it wasn't executed very well here it's like a full you know big like just chunk of uh. luckily for me my boy Jay you know what I'm saying the body shop said that they have uh, extra doors there so I do plan on putting the factory doors back on here with the factory door lot uh, latch but something I do love about this is check this out check this out this is probably something i thought was like extremely cool on this car bruh electric windows i thought that was fire on the flip side this car is so small that you know you can literally reach over if you really wanted to 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 do it so i'm kind of like eh. but something that was definitely definitely heartbreaking man so you can see the the pedals are all super close it's a little floppy brake pedals kind of crooked so since this has a 302 it has the factory like 302 cable on here for the clutch but check this out i want y'all to pay attention to this firewall if y'all can see it can you see that i don't know if y'all can see it try to get under here for y'all a little bit better So something I will have to do if I decide to keep this cable or decide to upgrade to a hydraulic setup. Um, if I decide to keep the cable, then the firewall definitely has to be reinforced. Um, you can see here where they did the, the pedal, they re-welded it. Like it's flimsy as hell. Like it's kind of bent. The throttle cable up here is just, like it doesn't feel good. Look at that cable literally gets stuck pedal gets halfway stuck to the floor oh look at that so that's definitely something that has to be uh, addressed if I decide to keep the cable which I might not uh, I might just upgrade this thing to a hydraulic setup I don't, I don't know but this is just stuff that I'm finding now and then turns out uh, also that this thing has a Rod Francis harness but when you look under here man it is just it's pretty bad 
so you can see like look at this this looks like like some of this shit looks like speaker wire and then looks just zip tied through the firewall power wire ran right here no grommet you know you got the freaking splice uh, connectors on here so it has a super old school ECU which is kind of cool this is like some period correction I know a lot of Fox body dudes would like this I think it's like the the Anderson setup you can literally control this thing and tune it from a Game Boy. Oh, look, that's, that's pretty tight. You got a little USB, you can charge your iPhone and stuff. Air heat? What? AC heat? They got vintage air, bro. Vintage air is going in here. That all needs to get aligned, but my painter Jay will take care of that when he does the doors. So this is something I definitely wish I would have looked at versus, you know, kind of just scheming over it. I was too busy, excited in the moment, but yeah, you look at this, the gas tank, <laughs> dude, the gas tank isn't bolted down at all. There's not one bolt here in the gas tank. Look at this. Also, you can see there's a little rust right here. It's kind of like the only rust on here, but this ain't nothing. I uh, talked to Jay. Jay said he has new floor pan for this thing. I don't know if this is going to the sender on top of the tank or if it's supposed to be going to the tail lights, but just loose wire in here. Cool part definitely has the 8.8. Uh, I'm guessing this is out of possibly a new edge or maybe a SN95 or something. But it does have uh coilovers on here, which is which is dope. Has disc brakes all the way around. Definitely fucking with the fitment. Fitment looks good yesterday i actually tried my uh, ssr was on here and i think my ssrs may possibly fit so i may be throwing my bronze ssrs on here or even the the white ones that came off of the se it does have a file look conversion but the sucky part is it has a file look conversion from a fox body so if you guys know the sn95 spindles it doesn't have that big ass bearing that you have to pack in that uh, you have to pack the grease and shit in you can see here they got a gargantuan spacer on this thing and i'm pretty sure that's just to get it over uh, that bearing but i might possibly upgrade these to sn95 spindles me and d's been talking about possibly throwing a stage two angle kit on here like how we have on the uh on the turbo coupe so i'm not against that probably put some cobra brakes on here because it does have just a regular fox brake so you know it has it's on there but it's just like it's not you know the good shit so it does run and start but it doesn't have a x pipe or h pipe so you can see that the passenger side bank is smoking like crazy so i'm pretty sure this is the head gasket that's blown just a little start up so y'all can see the grand steering wheel but i took it off and threw it right there i'm gonna be upgrading this to an nrg setup i've been talking to jason from nrg this morning and they're gonna get me over a quick release setup for this thing come on stay running so you can see this thing shot out a bunch of coolant on this side and once it starts running for a little bit you'll see that this side starts smoking like a mother like this just smokes more than black Aaron. And that's saying a lot. Look at the throttle cable. You look at the throttle cable, it's not in the right location. It's supposed to be on this side. <laughs> Smokey the bear. That's bad. All right, so with all that being said, this is where we come into the dilemma of decision making, man. I have a bunch of different options and things that I am thinking about doing to this thing. A lot of people are saying, oh, do a coyote swap. Uh, and I definitely looked into it, man. I definitely looked into it because I wanted to keep this thing forward 
So I started looking into the Coyote swap and you know, I did see them done, but what I've seen was when people do the Coyote swap, they literally delete all this right here. This is all gone, like all the way gone. It's just flat. They box everything off and then they change the whole suspension geometry. They have the upper control arms and everything on the, uh, on the outside that connects up to the spindle so you don't even see the coilovers in here so it still has a coilover set up but they're not directly right here on the shock towers like everything's relocated on the inside where the fender well is uh, they literally change up the whole suspension geometry on this thing and the coyote looks absolutely huge in here man they're not as small and compact as a uh, you know a single cam push rod motor so uh with that being said i was looking at possibly doing a 351 stroked out to a 408 to keep this thing old school forward and i did actually find the motor i'm actually in the middle of talking to a dude right now uh to maybe possibly see uh if that's the direction we're gonna be going but if i do a 408 it has to be boosted so i'm either thinking about doing a supercharger or maybe even a turbo setup on there and having this thing old school forward a 351 I know for sure will make seven, eight hundred horsepower all day. Those motors have been, those the three fifty one is like the five three equivalent of like to like Ford, I guess you could say. Like they're in that realm of like, yo, this thing will make a thousand horsepower stock block. So uh, I think it would be cool as hell to do a three fifty one with a four a four hundred eight stroker. Uh, it'll just drop right in here since it already has the three hundred two swap. So kind of I would just have to do. Uh, accessories little stuff like that uh probably upgrade this thing to a holly unless i can find someone that can tune with this old ass ecu but then if i go that extreme i kind of would want it to be able to have a flex wheel option so i'm not sure if that thing has flex wheel option because it's so fucking prehistoric so um probably upgrade this thing to a holly or something if we go that route but uh, as of today i found a 302 r block which i think would be absolutely sick because then I can use all my old accessories like from here I can pull the supercharger off of the swing thing throw it on this thing with a 302 R block the 302 R block is pretty much the small equivalent I guess you could say of a uh, 351 or whatever it has the four, uh, four bolt mains so it's strong they do a thousand thousand horsepower on that block um, 302 R block I could either keep it a 302 or possibly stroke this thing out. I think you can actually bore it all the way out, all the way into I think a 363, but I think I would honestly probably go no bigger than like a 347 or something. 347 with a supercharger uh, with the R block, that thing will, that thing would can absolutely rip. Uh, it would be sick because it kind of keeps it period correct, old school four vibes. But it also comes down to, man, if I decide to stay forward, and I know y'all are like, ah, oh, bro, you got so many LS cars already. My thing with this is like, if I LS this, this would have to be like my craziest LS. It would have to be like something I haven't done. And only sort, the only form of boost that I haven't done for like any of my LS cars is a twin turbo combination. So I was thinking possibly uh, if I did decide to do LS, we're gonna get to that. Cause I am about to jack this up and get under here in a little bit to see how this K member is. And we'll go from there. But if I did decide to LS this car, I know my Ford people are gonna hate me, but it would be like, it would be my nastiest, probably my nastiest build to date. I would probably do a, probably do the twins like right here in the front grill, um, Holly high rise, probably trim the hood so the high rise kind of sticks out. Like it would be some shit where it's like, I want to pull him over so bad, but I can't because the car is smog exempt. This is like my, like, mm, like mm, you cars. If I'm right. If this thing uses a Fox Body K member when I get under here, you guys know that I have a AJE cross member that I was going to be doing the LS3 swap in this car with. So if the AJE cross member literally bolts right into this thing, then that means I would be able to drop my LS3 right in here. And oh my God, it would make this thing so, 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 so simple, man. It would... I, I think me LS3 swapping this car would be cheaper than me doing a 408 or building a 302 R setup to keep it all forward. Like it would be dramatically cheaper because I wouldn't have to I wouldn't have to get nothing rebuilt. I know y'all would hate me. It's another LS. It's like come on, bro. Like it's just it's what I like, man. Y'all know me. If you've been following for forever, you know that I don't build cars based on what people want i don't build them based off well I, I gotta build this to make content 
like I build cars based off what what I truly like what I truly love uh, when I find a recipe that that works and I know it's proven you know I know a lot of people would probably hate if this was twin turbo LS I know a lot of people would love it but at the end of the day it would be me truly doing it for me and I just feel like if I went the Ford way and did a 302 or 408 I feel like that's like a common a norm whereas like I go out out of that typical you know old school six four six five six 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 seven norm of what everybody else does with these things and go against the grain I think it could be cool but you know my inner my inner Fordness wants to be like yo keep this thing classic make it look good you know 700 horsepower whatever done but then my inner Cheviness wants to be like LS it and go for a thousand like <laughs> AJE cross member. <laughs> Come on. Alright, here it is. Here's the AJE LS3 cross member. Well, any LS. But this is for a Fox body. I don't know, man. Y'all think the head gasket blown? <laughs> Alright, I got this thing up. I'm about to get under it. Oh my god, this is actually a, a factory. Fox K member in here. You can tell because this is where the factory spring, uh, spring perch is. But since this has coilovers, no spring perch. Very, very interesting. Looks like they made a custom trans mount out of a bar or some shit. But hey, if it works, it works, right? Even has the factory Fox body sway bar. Dude, I think they literally took a fox body, chopped it, and then boxed everything in. Cause look, you can see where the weld point is. I don't really think this is a full fox front end. You can see the floor right here has a patch. Right now I'm about to be uh, heading out. I'm about to be going to Diaz Garage. I'm about to be chilling him for a minute, talking, figuring out. Kind of like a game plan for this thing. Just because the AJE cross member will work on here doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that i am sold on ls swapping this car so uh i haven't came to a final decision but i am about to go to d's right now chop it up with him run some ideas by him what's up blood and this is hella clean jesus i did that's why you didn't do this one you just put valve covers on it and claimed it. <laughs> Look at that. You go from here to here. This is like my dilemma right now. Do we stay forward? Do we do the LS? Jesus. <laughs> my nigga 4D over here. You know, you secretly low key love these things still. Dude, it's a love hate thing. What? This motherfucker got AC? Yeah, it's yeah. gotta have AC. It's gonna hit 100 next week. Stand in that. Big ass back seats to clap cheeks. You can clap cheeks in the front seat, though. <laughs> Lift the wrist up. Just do it. Oh. You just lay across this With thing, the girl. Tops? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got the right here, whooping guts. Woo, with the double sunroofs. Slow that slow shit down. <laughs> That shit that weak. Away. Tell that nigga catch me off right proper. Oh, you so fancy. Oh, it's so fancy. Oh, I like this. I like it. Okay, okay. Why, hello there, 300ZX. Are you vlogging me, vlogging you again? You vlogging me. Yeah. Hello, vlogging people. Hello, people hello. on the Aaron's hello. YouTube channel. Yeah, we're working on this. I told you I was going to get on it today. 
So that's Ooh. what I'm doing. Ooh! Right. With the ATI on there, this is like the last of the fucking ashiness. But it's not all the way on yet because I need to get something to twerk. So if y'all follow Aaron, y'all know he went and got this Civic. This was his very first car. His first build. So Aaron gonna be out here. Start. I had a I had VTech on a button at one point. That's <laughs> racer. How, that, yeah. Super racer. Nice, super racer. That was like 2005, so don't judge me. It's wired up now, as you can see. But it was on a shifter <laughs> button. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> stupid old days. But it's pretty clean. It's carb legal whenever you look. State of California. Yep. Legal, baby. Bar legal. Yep. Alright, man. Look at my LS tree. G35, aka the SSG, coming along. By the end of this weekend, this thing's gonna be all the way back together and possibly on the floor. All right, so we over here at our boy SLB Rick's right now. Rick is unfortunately at work, but you know what I'm saying? Me and White Aaron came to hijack his truck and trailer, and we're about to be heading to the house. We're about to be picking up the 64, and we're about to be taking it to D's garage. And tomorrow, D is gonna be swapping out this head gasket. Grab the keys for this thing. Get pictures doing this. This fish shoe. Yeah. All the white boys got one of these. Second time today. I mean, if you miss me, just say that. You won't say drop it back off tonight. Bro, this thing sounds so good. Like Ford's. Oh, what happened? I was just telling them how good it sound. <laughs> Take two. This thing sounds so good. Little 302s be sounding. It should sound good. Chopper. Alright, Aaron, by the pull Smokey the Bear in. Jeez. Stage 2 angle kit, too, while we're here? Nah. <laughs> 